Are you looking for a way to get great returns in the stock market without day trading or looking at the markets every day? I believe investing in a tech ETF will do that for you. In this video, I will talk about the QQQJ Tech ETF. Although there are many tech ETFs out there such as Fidelity's Tech or Vanguard's VGT, I believe QQQJ offers a unique and different opportunity to invest in technology. And I believe the returns from QQQJ might supersede them in the future. I mean what if you had the opportunity to invest in Apple, Facebook, or Amazon before they became part of the NASDAQ index? That is what I am hoping this ETF will do. Plus, the management fee is only 0.15% and you get a distribution yield of 0.98%. This yield is great to collect while you wait for the growth story to emerge. Launched on October 13, 2020, the Invesco Nasdaq Next Gen 100 ETF, QQQJ, is a passively managed exchange-traded fund designed to provide a broad exposure to the large cap growth segment of the U.S. equity market. While Invesco's flagship product, the QQQ ETF provides access to the 100 largest non-financial companies listed on the Nasdaq, the Invesco Nasdaq Next Gen 100 ETF, QQQJ, offers that but with a twist. You get exposure to the next 100 largest non-financial companies that has the potential to be listed in the NASDAQ 100 index. QQQJ contains names of companies that some investors might be familiar with. Names such as AstraZeneca, Expedia Group, TradeDesk and MongoDB are some of the few. Based on my research, about one out of three members will eventually become members of the NASDAQ 100 and stocks tend to surge in price right before this inclusion in the index. This means approximately 33% of the next-gen members will eventually be upgraded into the index. If that is the case, then investing in them is a no-brainer. Also, as of today, the ETF is down 26% year-to-date which means you are getting a discount by buying it now. The QQQJ is heavy in information technology and healthcare sectors but it's actually a little better in diversification than meets the eye. The top 10 holdings only comprises about 18% of the entire holdings as compared to the QQQ, whose top 10 holdings comprise nearly 52% of the entire portfolio. This means you are less likely to be affected if one of the companies fails. The ETF also have a lower P.E. ratio of 28 as compared to QQQ which is 34. Of course we can't tell the future but if you think innovation will be ruling the world and technology will slowly change every aspect of our lives, then I think this ETF will perform for you. Remember, this ETF is volatile and it's more volatile than the QQQ. But the trick is to have a long-term perspective in holding this ETF. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but if you can buy as if falls and hold for a duration of at least 5 years or more, then I think you will be happy. The road to wealth depends on how many shares you have and how long your investing horizon is. The more shares you can obtain and the longer the horizon, the richer you will be. There is a lot of reason why Warren Buffett is so rich, but one of the main reason is his long-term horizon on holding companies he believes in. When he finds a great company, he buys a lot of shares and hold on to it. It's similar to you buying a home you like to live in for a long time. You don't look at what your home is worth every day or every week. You just live in it and enjoy it. I think we should invest in the stock market in a similar way. And in my opinion, buying a tech ETF protects you from any one company from failing. Unless you have the insight like Warren Buffett or his partner Charlie Munger, it's better not to buy single stocks and just invest into a ETF. It will provide protection and at the same time provide extraordinary returns in the future. Well, that's my take on the QQQJ ETF for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe for my future videos on making money methods. See you soon!